theoretical yield can tell us how much of a product we will end up with after running an ideal reaction to completion. To learn how to calculate a theoretical yield, let's walk through an example. 3.45 grams of methyl bromide are reacted with 5.23 grams of sodium hydroxide. Calculate the theoretical yield of sodium bromide according to the following balanced chemical equation. Methyl bromide plus sodium hydroxide yields methanol plus sodium bromide. We need to figure out how many moles of each reagent are present so that we can find the limiting reagent. The limiting reagent is the reagent that will be used up completely, thus limiting the extent of the reaction. First, we will convert the reagents listed from grams to moles. Next, we will find how many moles of product we can form with our calculated moles of reagent. We can do this all in one step with a little dimensional analysis. Multiply 3.45 grams of methyl bromide times 1 over the molar mass, or 1 mole of methyl bromide over 94.94 grams of methyl bromide. Then multiply by the ratio of sodium bromide to methyl bromide reaction coefficients, which is 1 to 1. This gives us 0 0.0363 moles of sodium bromide. Now we will do the same for sodium hydroxide. Multiply 5.23 grams of sodium hydroxide times 1 over the molar mass, or 1 mole of sodium hydroxide over 39.99 grams of sodium hydroxide. Then multiply by the ratio of sodium bromide to sodium hydroxide reaction coefficients, which is 1 to 1. It is very important to make sure that you use the proper reaction coefficients. This example is simple and that the ratio is 1 to 1. Nevertheless, this step is important. This calculation gives us 0 0.1308 moles of sodium bromide. We can see that the 3.45 grams of methyl bromide is going to produce less moles of bromide than hydroxide, and thus all of the methyl bromide will react completely. Therefore, methyl bromide is our limiting reagent. Our theoretical yield tells us how much product we should end up with if our reaction runs to completion. So, after using up all of the methyl bromide, we are left with 0 0.0363 moles of bromide. This is our theoretical yield. We can use this theoretical yield when performing an experiment, along with the measured actual yield to calculate the percentage yield. Say we ran this reaction and measured 1.099 grams of sodium bromide product. We can call this the actual yield. Now let's figure out what the theoretical yield would be in terms of grams. To do this, we simply multiply the theoretical yield in moles by the molar mass of sodium bromide. Multiplying these values together, we see that there is expected to be 1.452 grams of sodium bromide product. To calculate percent yield, you simply take actual yield, 1.099 grams of sodium bromide, divided by the theoretical yield, 1.452 grams of sodium bromide. Lastly, multiply by 100 for a percent value. 